Parkstone International is pleased to present you. Icons. Written by Nikodim Pavlovich Kondakov. Among graphic arts, the icon took first place in Russian life. Apart from the early Novgorod wall painting, we may call the icon the chief expression of religious thought and popular feeling as early as the 14th century. Later, when wall painting became subordinate to icon painting, the icon became the one and only symbol of faith. In view of its special significance and its derivation from the Byzantine model, the Russian icon takes its place as the continuation of a high artistic tradition and in its development offers an unparalleled example of artistic craftsmanship. In its decorative qualities, the uniqueness of its composition, the severity of its types, the ideal character and spiritual depth of the religious thought it conveyed, the icon is to be compared with the early period of religious art in Western Europe. Besides this, the historian of art must bear in mind that the easel picture arose over time from the icon. They must make every effort to comprehend the art form of the Russian icon in order to understand the historical traditions lying behind easel painting and influencing it to this day. Finally, from the early 18th century to the present day, the Russian icon has long existed as a handicraft or costar product. As such, icons deserve the attention of art historians, for artistic handicraft present difficult and complicated problems to historical interpretation which, for such reasons, have long been avoided. The time has come for Russian archaeology to study Russian icon painting and trace, through this particular phenomenon's five centuries of history. Three centuries of neglect beginning with Peter the Great have sundered the Russian people from the last flourishing period of this art form, and destroyed a greater number of icons than all the town fires and devastations in the Russian countryside combined. Icon painting hid itself in the depths of the country, at Suzdal and in the Suzdal district there arose whole settlements of icon painters, Mustera, Palik, and Holloway, but of these Palik and Holloway had already adopted the Frankish style three and naturalistic painting, Sivapis. Little Russia had rude naturalistic icons as early as the 17th century, the success of Borovikovsky's talent attracted general attention.